Mutuals Online is the best place to bet on live horse races, at home or on the go. Earn rewards, free live video and replay, a no-fee, legal, secure way to wager, and number one in customer support. Welcome to the club. Welcome to this week's edition of Ion Harness Racing Weekend Preview. I'm Paul Ramlow. This coming Thursday at the Delaware County Fair, the Little Brown Jug for a purse of $647,500, the richest jug purse in history. 16 horses have dropped into the box. That means two eight horse eliminations. The top four in each elimination will advance to the second heat final. If one of the elimination winners wins the second heat, he'll be the winner of the Little Brown Jug. Otherwise, the three heat winners will advance to a race off, winner take all. Let's take a look at the first elimination. Lion Somewhere paid $45,000 to supplement to the Little Brown Jug. He drew post position seven in that first elim, but he is the morning line favorite. Lion Somewhere of the Jimmy Tactor Stable is the Kane Pace champion. He looks to be the best horse in this elimination, at least on paper. Among the other contenders in the first elimination of the jug is On Golden Ponder, the Kentucky Sire Stake champion for trainer Bob McIntosh. He comes into the jug off a fourth place finish in his Simcoe Stakes division at Mohawk. Drawing the rail in that elimination is Let's Drink On It for trainer Joe Siekman. Let's Drink On It is 9 of 14 in the money so far this year. He was a winner of an Adios elimination earlier this summer and has been tackling the top horses in the sport all year long. As well, the Ron Burke trainee at press time, second in the $500,000 hemp final back in June. He will also be among the horses to be heard from in that first elimination. The second elimination tends to be the most loaded one of the two, I think. McWicket has drawn the rail for trainer Casey Coleman. McWicket is seven to five on the morning line in that second elimination. The Adios and Pennsylvania Sire Stake champion, Casey Coleman is also going for her third straight Little Brown Jug victory with Michael's Power and with Vegas Vacation. Starting from post position six in that second jug elimination is Dave Maneri's He's Watching, the Meadowlands Pace and Empire Breeders Classic champion. He was second to Lions Somewhere in the Cane Pace in his most recent outing. Also among the contenders, Somewhere in LA for trainer Jimmy Tactor, second in the Adios, third in the Pennsylvania Sire Stake final. He will score from post position five. And then Limelight Beach has been awful hot of late. Post position two for trainer Ron Burke, the horse is 0 for 12 this year as far as wins. He has seven second place finishes, including the Pennsylvania Sire Stake final. So that's the field of 16 in the two eliminations for the Little Brown Jug. The world is full of compromises, but not here, not on this day, not in this race, not in this sport. Every bet is a hope. Return on investment comes in seconds. This is harness racing. We welcome you to the Harness Racing Fan Zone. See it all for yourself. Feel it in all the passion. Share that experience with others. The Harness Racing Fan Zone puts you in the driver's seat. This week's edition of Paul's Paddock Picks will take a look at the eliminations for the Little Brown Jug presented by Fazoli's. What we're gonna do here is I'll give you the four selections that I have in each of the two eliminations. In theory, those eight horses would advance to the second heat of the jug. In the first elimination, I'm going to go with Lion Somewhere, despite post position seven. I think he's the class of that elimination. I think he'll come out on top. For second, I'll pick on Golden Ponder. Third, Let's Drink On It. And fourth, at press time. In the second elimination of the Little Brown Jug, I think McWicked will protect the rail and go on to a victory over He's Watching, Somewhere in LA, and Limelight Beach. So that's my selection for the eight horses in the final of the Little Brown Jug. Obviously, post positions would be drawn after the elimination, so we don't exactly know who's going to be where. But if I got to go on the record right now for the horse I think will be the Little Brown Jug champion, I'm going to go with McWicked and a Casey Coleman trifecta. For all things Little Brown Jug, visit the United States Trotting Association mini site at ustrotting.com. Stories, photos, and videos after both the Jugette and the Little Brown Jug will be available on that mini site. Also, don't forget about the CBS Sports Network broadcast from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday for the Little Brown Jug presented by Fazoli's. I'm Paul Ramlow. Have a great week. Hope to see you in Delaware.